Okay. Funny thing is, they kind of work. I mean, G's leaning forward, he's leaning back here. But as an action thing, funny enough, <laughs> I feel like they work back to back. Do, 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 do. Super cool, by the way. This is a, a really great fix on the second one here. Um, we'll talk about this one, and I must have completely missed it, but it's weird that the camera is not really moving and starts to ramp up. You kind of need to be uh, constantly following the character. I'm not sure if... Uh, sorry if I missed this. This seems to suddenly stand out. I don't know why. There's a bit of a... Maybe just my player. So this is pause, but I screw up. There's no pause, but then camera is kind of slow. I don't know. Weird. Other than that... Uh, that looks cool. It's almost as if that background is too busy, but the good thing is that she is colorful, so she stands out. <clears throat> but it would be cool to get some sort of depth of field going on, some blurring, some hazing or something, so that it's not so... Uh, there's a lot of busy stuff in front of her. Not that she... You know, we can still see her, just because it's a bit of a busy background. That might just be me. Cool stuff now. Silhouettes are cool. Arcs are cool. You got hair going on. Are they offset? This slight. Yeah, they're not. That feels like a slight uh, twinning. Twinning. It just seems like it's the same thing copied over. So a little bit of variation to not the same height. You know, one is a bit higher. Stuff like that. It's going to be helping. Uh, there's no hair on the second one, right? Nope, not yet. Get off to the hair. The arcs on her arms are so much better. Cool. Cool. You got some shoulder stuff going on. Don't forget that when she makes those big swings that you involve the chest. This goes down, the chest will rotate down and go back a bit. Then this guy brings it up, brings it over and then forward. So a bit more involvement of the chest so that the, the arms dry, drive uh, chest movement. Especially through here, there's a lot of stuff going on, especially that back swing. Uh, I would expect a little bit of pull and rotation in Y, pulling back because of that arm pulling the whole thing up. Uh, excuse me. Very cool. Cool stuff there. Cool steps. Nice little tippy toe action. Whoop, right there. Very cool. Probably offset them a little bit. It feels like they're stopping and starting at the same time. Cool stuff. Don't forget uh, uh, pelvis involvement. This foot comes down, boom, and pushes. I don't see anything in terms of weight displacement, anything in the hips. Also, she is so fast. Although in real time, it's not too bad. And it's not too bad. It's not kind of now that I saw it, I can't unsee it. Uh, that foot, bam, impact. This next frame, the foot is still up. I would at least go almost full contact. Second frame, flat contact. There's so much speed, so much weight on there. It's a bit, it feels a bit weird to have such a slow and soft roll. Getting into the nitty really picky things here. Oh, well, probably by now you can change the hand pose so that the index is not fully out. Even here, it feels like it's always kind of the same pose. You can probably Bring out the other fingers to flatten that pose a bit. It feels like it's always kind of the same hand pose there. It's like all of them. No, you change it here. So just kind of watch out. That left hand, screen left hand, feels a bit same-ish. Cool stuff in the head. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of it. It's really cool stuff. It's a really great sense of danger. That's kind of it. I mean, I'm just going to start to go frame by frame, picky, ridiculous note finding, like here. <laughs> that wrist up, going back, it almost feels a bit weird. I'm being super picky. <clears throat> How you have the thumb is aligned like this, this wrist aligned like this, just angle wise. Um, so you could start bringing it away from us. So there's a bit of a shorter pointing up or away from us there. <clears throat> Not that drawing helps at all, but basically rotate it down away from her. So it has a different line and is a bit more 
you know, in this here, it starts to feel very, very 90 degrees. So away from her, fingers go away, receding. It's a bit of a angle like this, not so straight aligned with the forearm, just kind of splitting the difference probably. And then here it's okay. This gets a bit weird how flat it is through here. It's almost like, I almost feel like you want to, at this point, the wrist would be down here. So drive, overlap down, then she brings it back up. This, if you would keep this careful, this feels like an IK arm because the, the arm is moving, but then the wrist is in the same rotation. Same thing here, this feels a bit too straight. Uh, an arc is missing there, so it's a bit IK. All right, I think that's kind of it. Wait, one more thing. You got a one frame head return boop, right there, and then we cut out. I would never see this unless I would frame through. Yeah, might just be me in the playback, but that's kind of it. Very, very cool update. Thank you. All right, there's an email. You can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whenever you want. You get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.